Today's video is a partnership with Elementor and we are bringing to you a detailed look into the features of the image optimizer plugin from Elementor, of course. So I know that I have covered this plugin before, but today we are going to be diving a little bit deeper into its features and see what you can do with it. So let's get into it. All right, so let's assume that you already have your website set up and you only want to add the image optimizer now so that you can optimize your images. So as you are in the dashboard, let's navigate to plugins. And of course, we want to add a new plugin, right? So we are going to look for image optimizer. And you might have to scroll a little bit. And this is the image optimizer by Elementor plugin. This is how it looks. This is the icon. So um, as you can see, I already have it activated, installed and activated. So this is what you will have to do. Once you have done that, you will go to media. As you hover, you already see the image optimizer selection there. So if you click on it, you get a mini report of the image optimizer already. So as you can see, I have done some things with it. All right, so let's hover a little bit over each eye on the report and let's see what this means. So this basically this first report stat refers to the percentage of storage, storage space saved by optimizing the images that I've already optimized on the website. So this is pretty cool, right? I have not optimized too many images yet, but it's good to know how much you have already optimized. The next one refers to the amount of images that I have optimized out of the whole library. To have a total, it seems like, <laughs> a total of 1,389 and unoptimized 1,225. And if I want to optimize them all in bulk right now, I could just click on this and it's done for me. The good thing is that I can click this and then go about my day, work on my website, and this will be done in the background. So this is one of the features of um, this plugin. You can just click the button to optimize the images or image and just let it do the work in the background, which I think it's pretty cool. You don't have to have the window open and wait until the, the work is done. That is very a very good selling point, in my opinion. So the next stat is the images in your plan. This refers to the amount of credits in the plan that I've already used. So the current plan, I'm on a free plan and the images left are 194 out of 250. As you can see, you can also upgrade your plan from here. Just one click away. Let's go to the actual settings of the plugin. So if you click on image optimizer, you will be taken to the settings. And the first thing that you see here is your subscription status. And then you have the very important settings that you can set or not set. It is up to you how much you want to have this set, right? Okay, so let's talk about the compression level because this is one of the most important parts of this plugin and this is the purpose, right? Compressing our images. If you hover over each of these two options, lossless and lossy, you will see that you are prompted with this tooltip where you will be explained what it means. So you can choose between either of this. I usually go with lossless because I really don't want to lose any quality of images. And if you want to restore the image to its in initial state, um, the images still keep all the information that they have. Lossy is still good. It's, it makes the images super small, but th there are some disadvantages. Anyway, this is something that is up to you, but these are two options that you have to go about. This option I think is so, so cool because whenever you add a new image to the media library, yeah, if I would go now to my li media library and add a new media file, and if I have this turned on as it is right now, 
that image will be optimized so i don't have to worry about going through the process of optimizing my images which can be very time consuming and yeah it's just probably not very convenient especially if you are working on a photographer's website or you are a photographer and you don't want to be bothered with optimizing your images or you have a lot of blog posts and you get it right so i think this is very important yes you can resize your larger images but as you can see here this is, uses one additional credit per image so we will talk about credits in a bit now if you want to clear or your exif metadata that it says here it refers to data time location and so much more you can do that some people would say would argue that this is not a good thing to do to clear your ex if metadata because it's important for seo it is not really true it's very minimal so it is recommended to to remove the exif metadata for privacy for security for and for consistency in general so if you want your images to be optimized for seo use alt text uh, use titles for your images other things but this exif metadata this is negligible in my opinion and not only mine anyway moving on backup original images if you have this turned on your original image will be saved as well and you will have it in your media files but it as it says here it will take additional space in your media file so keep that in mind when you turn this on and another very 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 important part of this plugin it converts all your images to webp so if you have a png if you have a jpeg if you have let's we could go through all the extensions in a bit when we look at the images but they will all be converted to webp and if you don't know what webp is just know that it is a image format developed by Google to keep the lossy or lossless format of the images, the quality basically, but be smaller in size. So this is the modern way of adding images to your website. No more PNGs, no more JPEGs. WebP all the way for now at least. So now we are at the file optimization. So in addition to your original upload, you can optimize the version uh, resized by WordPress. So each additional size counts as one credit. So all sizes, let's go to custom. So you can tick off the images that you don't want to be optimized size wise from here. Let's go to advanced actions. And as you can see, you can do some actions from here. I think they are pretty self-explanatory. All right, so let's go to optimize one of these images. So let's go to the library and you will see I have some images that are pretty big. So I am going to select this one. Um, these have been generated with Midjourney and Midjourney, of course, generates very high quality images and these are usually very big. So this is one megabyte. Imagine having five of these only five of these images on your website as i clicked on this image you i can optimize this image from here only this image yes or i can as i said earlier i can opti optimize all the images that i have but i just want to optimize this image right now yeah so i'm gonna click on this it's gonna take a little bit of time so now the image is going to be optimized i can actually close the window and come back and have this image optimized all right so i am going to refresh this page and if i click again on this image look at this 868 kilobytes this is an insane amount like super super small and as you can see the file type extension is webp and it was pretty easy it just took a little bit of time but you don't need to wait for this to be done. You can just click optimize image, get out of it, and the image will be optimized in the background. For me, that is, it is such a plus. Let me go a little bit in the image optimizer settings. Let's go to all sizes here. Let's go to custom. 
and let's just have i like the large size image i will untick this and now let's go to our library let's go to our image i'm gonna go with this one and then optimize and let's see let, let's see what happens okay as you see image size optim size is optimized is one because i have selected only one image size all right it's done let's refresh this let's go back to our image 831 kilobytes i mean how cool is that if i go to my media library let's have a quick look and as you see here the format of this image is wrong it cannot you cannot convert pdfs to obviously you cannot have this optimized so you only can optimize jpegs pngs webps even or gifs which is very cool right all right so if you want to upgrade from a free trial you can do so from here all right so as you can see this is the landing page for the image optimizer i will have it in the description below and you can check it out and earlier i was talking about credit so let's see a little bit of um description here about credits so how credits work this is one uh, important thing that you need to keep in mind so one image that you optimize is five credits so that is 250 minus five for one image is 245 so keep that in mind right when you're optimizing your images and you have all the explanation that you need right here on the website so you can read it carefully and you can choose whichever plan is right for you and your business so the point of this plugin is set it and forget it i think we all want that especially if you want if you manage your own website i think this is a must and you need to have something like this implemented i think this is the best of the best especially since it's made by elementor it's compatible to their plugin with their hosting with everything that they make so definitely there will be no issues in the future incompatibility if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye